Snack day. Welcome to Snacks All Day, where we just snack all day. I'm your culinary technician, Shantae. Please like this video and subscribe to my page so you don't miss out on any future videos. Here's a list of the items you will need for this chicken parmesan. I did not cook the tomato sauce or pasta on camera, so you'll have to do that yourself. But, and here is the recipe for the nuggets. Hey everyone, and welcome to Snacks All Day. Today I am going to be making chicken parmesan, but of course my girls are not gonna eat chicken parmesan, so I had to come up with something for them to eat. So I decided to marinate some chicken uh, for them to make them some chicken nuggets. Um, for their dinner tonight. I want to shout out Dr. Shaquinta, the self-care life coach, for giving me the, the recipe or sharing the TikTok video where you take uh, your pickles and you add a packet of ranch, you let it marinate, and it's actually quite delicious, but I'm going to take this juice here and uh, marinate some of uh, chicken for the girls for their dinner tonight. Again, shout out to Dr. Shaquinta, the self care life coach i will be posting her uh stuff down here at the bottom so that you can go follow her if you need some self-care she's the lady to contact okay we are getting our dry ingredients together flour salt and pepper our onion powder our garlic powder our lowry seasoning salt to our flour also some paprika and for some razzle dazzle, some Texas Roadhouse seasoning. I'm gonna mix that around. Now we're going to do our egg wash. You see that one hand technique again? We're gonna add some salt and pepper, a little bit of milk. If you don't have milk, you can add water. We're gonna mix that all together. And here we are, our egg wash. We're gonna do the standard breading procedure. procedure. Sorry about that. All right, next we're gonna do our breadcrumbs. Uh, we're gonna season these as well with just some salt and pepper. Shout out to Tyreek All Caps on the speed that you hear and shout out to Ethan for the logo that you see. Uh, I realized that the bowl was a little too small so I decided to switch it out into another plastic bag. I know you have some plastic bags laying around and you can have your standard bread procedure ready to go. So we have our flour our, and our bread, seasoned breadcrumbs. Both items are seasoned and ready to go. Next, we're going to clean our chicken. As you can see, we are taking off all of the fat and any hard pieces off of the chicken. Uh, I'm cleaning up the three pieces that I have first and then I will cut them up for some nuggets and or for my chicken parm. So I'm doing the this piece here for nuggets. These nuggets are going to be for the girls. Once those are all cut up, I'm going to move those to the side. So then I'm going to fillet uh, this breast. As you can see, those two are thick, and this one is thinner, so I will have to pound out the thick ones to make the cooking process about the same. So I've laid out my two thick chicken breasts, and I got some plastic wrap to cover it and the cutting board, and I'm going to use this cast iron skillet to flatten them out just a tad. So they're about the same thickness as the previous two or the other two so that everyone will cook at the same time. So now I have my two chicken breasts ready. I'm going to add my other ones and now we're going to season these chicken breasts as well with a little salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and we're going to be ready to go. So here's the ranch dill juice. I'm going to add a tablespoon of powdered sugar to the mix and then I'm going to add my chicken, give it a shake and we're going to set that off to the side. All right, I'm going to add some oil to my pan about a half an inch. Now I'm going to start the standard braiding procedure. You want to start dry, wet, dry on this one and we have a few breasts done. They're going in a pan Boom. 
look at that standard braiding procedure now we have our chicken in the pan we're gonna let these get a golden I'm gonna flip this one so that you can see that it is getting golden but I'm gonna continue to let them cook here we are cook 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 yes so we are flipping and uh, you can see in the back that I have my sauce and my pasta already done I'm gonna come in and take the temperatures of this chicken you want to ensure that your chicken is at 165 degrees or higher again 165 degrees or higher I am continuing to take the temperature again 165 you can go to 175 but that should be about it so now I'm going to cook these nuggets for the girls so I'm taking them out the juice they've been marinating for about 30 minutes I'm gonna season these as well just like I did the chicken breast uh, for my chicken Parmesan so we're gonna mix this up make sure the season is all over we're gonna do the standard braiding procedure for this as well so yes so we're gonna put it back in the egg wash once we have them coated we're going to put them in the breadcrumbs so this was used for two items today we're going to add those to the grease they're going to cook up nice and golden just like the chicken parm shout out to Tyreek all caps on the speed that you hear and shout out to Ethan for the logo so my chicken see. parm are done I had them resting on a napkin so it can take some of that oil off of it so we're going to add about a half a cup or a quarter cup of, of your favorite tomato sauce on top. Boom, boom, boom. Then I'm going to add some slices of provolone cheese, smoked provolone cheese. I was going to get fresh mozzarella, but they didn't have any. So I went with smoked provolone instead so here are the nuggets they are cooking up lovely and nice we are about to be almost done with this meal today look at that these girls are going to enjoy these nuggets So I'm removing the nuggets from the pan as well. Let them uh, drain some of the grease off before I serve them up to the girls. So in a pan, I'm gonna add about a half a cup of sauce of my favorite tomato sauce. I'm gonna add some pasta, gonna mix that up. I would have left my pasta long, but also the girls are gonna be eating this, so I had to break them in half. So we have our pasta on the plate. Look at that, we're going for a presentation here. We're going to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on that yes so now we're going to add our our chicken with our melted mozzarella and here we are chicken parmesan with pasta here we are i'm about to taste it let you know that it is good it is tasty oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah and here is the girls meal for the night you know I had to taste the girls chicken and yes it is delicious so delicious I had to take a second bite on camera there we are thanks for watching